Howdy, 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 my beautiful darling Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today, honey, I'm gonna be getting into your March 2022 weekly tarot reading. All right, Pisces, so if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below, darling, how this reading resonates, uh, as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy my vibe for today, Pisces, all right? And also, happy birthday, my beautiful Pisces, all right? It's your birthday month. So let's just get right into your tarot reading here today, Pisces. Let's see what's good with you, what's good, what's popping, honey, okay? Let's see what's happening for you at this current point in time darling Ooh, darling okay love is in the air for you pisces love is in the air when i say love i don't just mean romance darling it could be loving of a new platonic relationship all right love is definitely in the air there's some type of commitment coming in here for you uh pisces for those that have been looking for a job this lover is, would represent the partnership the coming it's really like the coming together in this dynamic here and then yeah we have the sun card coming in right after the fact cancer so uh excuse me cancer pisces my bad pisces I just wish y'all happy birthday and accidentally call y'all cancer. I can't help it. Y'all are like my children, Pisces. So yeah, sun energy here. If you like, if you shot your shot with someone, if you have communicated, with, like there's this sense of like you are coming together with somebody else. All right. And so if you have been trying to manifest love in your life, if you've been trying to have someone come back in your life is what I hear as well. Like someone's coming, like there is this resur resurgence of like, relationships here and i know astrologically um it's looking really beautiful as well for relationships and so if you probably have even shifted or noticed the shift rather energetically uh pisces just with relationships here and devil energy here so there was a situation that you were not really too hopeful for of anymore here pisces all right you were thinking that this was dead in the water that this wasn't going to be happening anymore here and then we have this justice energy here this libra energy here um balancing this energy out so we have capricorn here we have libra here we have gemini darling we have all the zodiac signs coming in here and so yeah I feel, Pisces, there is some type of relationship, some type of partnership that you shot your shot with or whatever the case may be, Pisces, where you guys were really hoping for a positive payout with it, right? You confessed your feelings, you put in your application, and then this devil energy came in and you're just like, Ugh, well, I guess like maybe you didn't hear back from them, whatever, like thing that i don't want to call it toxic right because that really villainizes the energy but there's something here that made you give up hope with this situation here it made you give up hope but just this energy the scales are coming back into balance in your favor uh with this situation here all right and so have no fear darling even if you haven't heard communication from them quite yet pisces you're definitely going to be hearing back from them all right so what happened with this situation i am curious about this all right so later on in this reading at the latter port uh end of this reading i'll get into more of this dynamic here but let's continue progressing with your reading here pisces all right so we have this death energy coming in here Ooh, darling pisces so y'all we're not talking anymore <laughs> ace of pentacles coming in here y'all we're not talking anymore pisces and then page of pentacles all right darling so pisces i have to be honest with you and then are you kidding me hierophant energy in the back of the deck so pisces let me just say this first and foremost there is someone coming back in from the past someone that you thought was just again dead in the water with that death energy you thought this is like you shot your shot and then you gave up because and you told yourself well i guess this wasn't meant to be i guess it wasn't meant to have that job here ace of pentacles heart of the energy as well heart of the spread it's going to be happening whatever it is that you put shot your shot with it's going to be happening page of pentacles you're having that pe uh, pentacle extended out to you now i will be saying socially darling P uh, pisces this is a situation here where it's just like some type of past energy like you closed off this cycle all right so um definitely we're speaking about some type of ex situation relationships romantically platonically maybe even family members darling someone's coming like you're going to be having people from the past coming crawling back in darling i don't want to say crawling but coming back in rectifying things bringing peace to the situation to bring forth more stability for others of you pisces be anticipating if you recently lost a job be anticipating a new opportunity coming in shortly after the fact or if you receive some type of bad news some type of closure that happened in your life here it's going to be matched with shortly after the fact with this new energy here all right and so very 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 beautiful hierophant energy in the back of the deck this is like the long-term committed energy it's known as like the card of marriage as well so let's continue on with this pisces but what i want to be saying darling it's it's like i keep hearing like picking up the pieces making amends here pisces whatever the situation is darling it's like you're fully aware about this energy here you're fully aware about this because something definitely happened 
prior where you and you are just you finally maybe you just recently moved on from it is what i'm hearing you recently moved on no longer we're thinking about it and then they're gonna be coming back up and then be like oh wow like i just moved on from you right because yeah five of wands here there is some type of misunderstanding some type of arguments for some of you pisces this is someone who uh can i be honest here pisces you might have gotten a lot of mixed feelings is what I'm getting, especially with this devil energy here. I feel like for some of you Pisces, you got a lot of mixed feelings on the initial part where you initially got a lot of strong emotions from them. They came on very strongly. They all connected, darling, and it looked fabulous, right? You, you felt as if there was love there in the situation. And then maybe it just like went ghost or maybe it just like something happened where it just felt sudden, I feel, especially with this death energy, it feels sudden. And so like whatever complications happened here, like it's going to be rectified i feel like you're going to be getting a lot more clear understanding about what happened in the situation and why it happened in the way it did right king of swords energy you're going to have a better perspective of everything that went down with this pisces all right now i feel like for most of you pisces you will be happy about this energy coming back into your life here but i do see you y'all probably being skeptical just because you're just like girl what well, well, you know you're going to be wanting some explanations understandably because you're just like girl what is this tea here like what was this devil like why did you go sign after you showed such a strong interest why did you because i feel like it was very much so like i feel like it was just very sudden i don't feel like it was necessarily like a build-up a progression here pisces i feel like it was just like a sudden just like like this death energy came very sudden with that closure came very sudden with this dynamic so um take that as you will i don't know why i just switched those out so <laughs> let's continue on here pisces you have the four of wands here so i know for some of you pisces i hear it in the comments right now honey where you're just typing away and be like velka like i don't want this x energy to come be coming back in darling like i don't want anything to do with it da, 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 da. darling that's your teeth that's your business all right but i can be telling you darling right with the intentions of this person here i see for many of you guys just rectifying some type of relationship that you i mean on uh, let's be honest here uh, uh pisces you definitely have some type of emotion associated with this otherwise this wouldn't be coming up in your reading here i feel right and so you have the second card that talks about marriage right the four of wands also is known as the card of marriage because in other artworks of the tarot it represents like a chapel and just what have you right and so i see you guys just like well yes you have this double situation i feel like once you guys are able to figure out this double situation have a better understanding of it then you can either get closure with the situation maybe that's the happiness maybe this closure will allow you for you where you're just like hey like you know thank you for coming to me thank you for bringing better understanding clarity to the situation here but you moved on right i feel like if that is the case then this is going to unlock for you to be able to continue the next phase of your life here but i do feel like this energy is very essential for your healing all right whether that healing looks like coming to back together with this energy or whether this healing just is the sense of where it's just like you i mean i mean let's be a little bit petty here uh pisces right maybe it's going to be very satisfying for you that you moved on from this energy here and then they come crawling back thinking they can be that little devil again and be like oh like you, you know taking pisces energy for granted and you're like uh, -uh, uh honey like uh, you get the affirmation knowing that they haven't forgotten about you and that they want you and you get the satisfaction being like up oh, not no more darling too little too late darling right so whatever the case is, however that serves you, right? Cherry energy coming in as well. I want to be saying with this Pisces, be anticipating them sooner rather than later. That is Cancerian energy as well. But and it has, so it could very well be someone that has strong cancer in their chart as well. But when it comes to general readings, I don't really like to pinpoint specific Zodiac readings because, you know, darling, please. <laughs> it really could be like any type of energy, right? What are the chances? The chances of covering every single Zodiac sign for every general reading, it's going to be a, a pretty high with how many people watch reading right so you have the temperance energy with the eight of wands here have patience at this time i feel like y'all are wanting forward momentum in some fa uh, facet in your life that is separate from this uh pisces i feel like you do need to have some patience here because the movement's going to come when it's necessary when it's uh when you are ready for it right you have the empress energy coming in as well this energy will come when it, you're re when you are ready for it it doesn't mean just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's not meant for you is what i hear all right you're wanting you're craving some type of movement this is that card of fertility pisces 
here um 90 i will never and 99.9 percent .9 of the time pisces i will never talk about pregnancies on my channel just because it's a very personal touchy subject for me because i have my own family members that are trying to get pregnant and it's just a hard road for them but i will be telling you in this reading just because that is my job here for those that have been wanting to get pregnant eight of wands temperance energy and empress energy this is quite literally a card dynamic where it's just like hey like have patience at this time temperance energy you're going to see some forward momentum in what looks like your card of fertility like this is the card of fertility so in regards to your fertility for those that are have been trying right so have hope in that regard probably the only time i'm probably going to be talking about pregnancies on my channel all right but um i just want i feel like it is necessary for, for me to have that message be said this is the one time i feel like it is relevant so um but regardless you know pregnancies aside the empress you know being pregnant with whatever it is that you are wanting to give birth to right you know this empress energy is like something that you have your own personal desire towards that you're trying to build up so it could be i feel like for a lot of you guys especially since this does seem to be so socially skewed here love life yeah <laughs> this seems to be love life just coming in here knight of cups energy so it does definitely feel you will you will get your flowers right isn't that like a quote pisces um a pretty popular quote is like you'll you'll get your flowers or something let me know if you know what i'm talking about pisces but you definitely will be getting your flowers very fitting with this message here considering this is the nine of cups offering those roses so you will get that um loving loving relationship for those that have been feeling really alone or isolated pisces you're not going to be alone for too much longer keep on continuing darling but don't just because you're feeling lonely doesn't mean you need to go backwards as well all right so Let's see what happened with this situation that we tapped into from the uh, previously though, Pisces. What, what What is the deal with this, right? I'll just do two cards on this and then I'll just keep it moving, Pisces. Judgment energy here as well as the Queen of Pentacles coming in here. So it feels as if... I feel as if what went wrong with this relationship prior, Pisces, is that someone was being a little bit too selfish or self-involved with the situation. It felt as if we will just say you, right? If it's the opposite, darling, then it's up to you, darling, right? But it's like you were investing all of your being into this relationship here and then the other side was just being very selfish pisces and they were thinking about like what benefited them rather than thinking about like what was good for the both of you as a collective like you were trying to function as a team they're functioning just from a place of where it's just like oh what's good for me right and so maybe they're a little bit less selfish at this point in time pisces are they going to be so less selfish i feel like that's going to be a question some of y'all will want to know about will they be less selfish this next time that they're coming towards you Let's take a look here, Pisces. Are they going to be less selfish towards my Pisces and less self-involved with this situation here? I'm not taking that. We'll do one more bridge shuffle here. And then, zooling, let's do this. King of Swords coming in here. Yeah, definitely some maturing that has happened with them for sure. And then Hierophant. Yeah, this is someone Pisces who had commitment issues prior, um, but they definitely have matured here definitely have matured i feel like this card a couple of cards came out too ten of wands and queen of swords coming in here and the reverse for them so their biggest struggle was like one um maybe they were so used to pisces beforehand before you came into the picture having to think for themselves as that queen of pentacles because everyone else was taking advantage of them so they were carrying that same energy with you but the thing about it is pisces they didn't realize how different you are compared to any other person that they connected to beforehand so i feel like you had to break down a lot of walls with them and because like you triggered something in them that's when they just uh, escaped and went ghost or what have you but i do feel like they, they are coming back in from a at least a more mature place does that mean you know just because they have matured you know i'm not going to sit here and yeah we even have the eight of uh, pentacles coming in in the back of the deck here so they are on the path of growth but just because you grow from a situation let's also be realistic here pisces i'm not going to sell like a fantasy story let's remind let's remember that we're all human here right we make human mistakes you know they might fall back all right, they might fall back. And so don't just, just because you see the first signs of change of progression doesn't mean that they are completely changed and that they won't have their weak points, right? And so pay attention to the signs. That's all I'm going to be saying on that, Pisces, just because it's like, I'm not saying that they will. I'm just saying that for some of you, Pisces, you're seeing that initial sign and then you're like, oh, they've changed. And then you'll like accept them back into your life and then just it'll deteriorate back into that same point in time, right? But you keep referencing that initial point. Does that make sense, Pisces? So pay attention to the signs. The moment you start seeing them fall back on that, those old habits, darling, just move on. All right, just move on. So 
That's what I got for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for allowing me to do your tarot reading today. Thank you for trusting me to do it. If you enjoyed this tarot reading today, be sure to let me know, Pisces, in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces. Remember, if you want to book a private personal reading with me, I only do readings on my website, Simply Velcro dot com all right darling um also be sure to follow my social medias tiktok and instagram both just being simply velka and i'll be connecting with you pisces sometime in the near future i love you so much darling bye